Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this very exciting first video back after a brief three year hiatus. I've come back to YouTube to do something really exciting, talk about my Botox. Quite a few of you on my Instagram voted that you wanted to see this video as my first, so I guess I'm going to have to do it. Yes, I'm 21 and yes, I've had Botox done. There's a number of reasons why I got it. None of them were reckless and last minute. I have been thinking about this for quite some time and I'm really glad I did it. I don't regret it at all. I've only had it done on one area of my face and that's just on my forehead. I decided to have it done on this area just because I've had quite a lot of deep lines there, as stupid as that sounds for someone as young as me to be saying. I have had lines on my forehead for as long as I can remember and they would always show when I put makeup on they would crease. I didn't like it, I wasn't comfortable with it so I thought I might as well change it. The cost wasn't too pricey for what it was, I'm not going to say exactly how much it was but I will link the clinic I had it done in the down bar. The main reason I got it other than just kind of to boost my self confidence was to prevent lines in the future because Botox can be used preventatively rather than just to get rid of lines when you're older. So obviously before the procedure you go in with no makeup on and they advise you to not wear any makeup for about 24 hours afterwards just in case the little holes where they've put the injection in your head get infected or something. Also they tell you not to lay down for I think it was five hours afterwards just because they don't want the Botox to be like distributed to the wrong places in your face. So the procedure itself took about 10 minutes from start to finish. That 10 minutes includes being greeted, being taken into the room, having a quick kind of consultation with the doctor before she actually put the injection in my face. The actual injecting the Botox maybe took a minute and a half tops. In my personal opinion, the pain was absolutely nothing. It didn't hurt whatsoever. I've got quite a lot of tattoos I've had piercings done and I've had a couple of surgeries so my pain threshold is pretty high but to me it literally just felt like someone was flicking my forehead in 10 different spots for about a minute and a half. A minute and a half of a little tiny amount of pain is definitely worth it for three to six months of no wrinkles on my forehead so you can see where I'm coming from. It took about a week and a half, two weeks for it to properly kind of freeze my forehead and stop me raising my eyebrows. It happened really gradually over that period as well. I was kind of expecting it to happen a bit faster even though I'd done my research and I knew that it was going to take a while but every morning I'd go into the mirror and just look at myself and try to raise my eyebrows and day by day it stopped happening and now this is about as much as I can do but it is starting to wear off. The only downside for me other than the fact I had to pay for it which is never fun when you're a student and don't have much money, <laughs> is the fact that I can't properly raise my eyebrows to do my makeup. This probably isn't gonna be a big problem for most people, but just seeing as I do so much kind of makeup stuff and I like doing quite elaborate looks, I like being able to raise my eyebrows so I can properly get into the crease, which I'm not able to do anymore. I have to actually physically raise my eyebrows sometimes when I wanna get right in there. But it's not too much of a problem, I kind of have learned to deal with it. I didn't have any side effects afterwards, my face didn't bruise, I didn't have red bumps on my face. There was no irritation or anything. I simply just went about my life as I always did and then my forehead wrinkles disappeared. If anyone is thinking of getting it done and you're obviously over 18, you can afford it and you're in the same mind to be getting it done, then I would say go for it. It's your face, it's your body, if you're not comfortable with certain wrinkles or something on your face then you can change it. Not to say that everyone should be happy obviously in their own body and all that but I've got a pretty open mind to anything surgery related considering I've been chopped and changed so many times for medical reasons. When I see that you can actually enhance the way you look and kind of get rid of those insecurities by you know having a tiny little surgical procedure I say go for it. <laughs> Thank you for watching my first video back. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you a better idea of what it's like to get Botox done or why I got it done or if you simply just wanted to be nosy. Please tune in for the next video, I think it's going to be a bit more makeup related and yeah, I'll catch you next time.